How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here. Today is going to be a movie collection video. And this is going to be on two series of uh, monster movies. Uh, featuring Godzilla and Gamera. And that is the Criterion and Arrow sets. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So first up, I got the tripod uh, pulled back uh, quite a bit because of uh, this set right here. The Godzilla Showa Era films collection from 1954 to 1975 this is the big criterion set that came out uh quite a while ago and yeah uh, i was just waiting for the gamera sets uh, to come in and uh they finally did the other day so yeah actually pretty quick so here's the spine and here is the back you get some beautiful artwork on here so this is a pretty much just a giant book. Uh, there is something with the Gamera sets that I'll get into in a little bit uh, once I get to that. So here is the backing uh, for it. So on the right you have the list of all the films. And what year they came out, who the director was. And some of these have uh, many different names. I think all of them do. Yeah, uh, from different countries and stuff. So here is like a little uh, info. And you also get uh, details about the transfers, special features in which there are a lot. You also get U.S. Uh, versions of certain films. International, lang uh, international English language dub tracks. Commentaries, all that stuff. Really, really cool. All right. So now let's go ahead and open this up. So first up, you have this big, giant picture of Godzilla wreaking havoc. There you see jets, helicopters, buildings being knocked down. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to show like just certain parts, and then I'll get to the uh, disc and stuff. Okay. And here you have, uh, I believe it's like an essay. Uh, Criterion is known for doing that quite a bit. There you see, that's like a article. Okay, so now let's get to the disc themselves, or the info about each movie. So, all right. So this is uh, Godzilla. This is the original film. And then on the bottom here, it'll tell you, uh, you know, some info, black and white, monorail. Uh, in Japanese and English subtitles. Details about the film and then the credits cast. There you see them right there. So yeah, this Criterion Collection. Um, overall, I think it's really, really good. The only thing is, you know, you gotta have enough room to display it. <laughs> because it is very, very uh, tall. Uh, it's a very big book. Uh, and as far as I know, there hasn't been like a... So now I'm just going to show the pictures because they're really nice. Uh, that's Godzilla Raids again. And, yeah, as far as I know, there hasn't been like a re-release for this as far as like a... Um, like a more shelf-friendly uh, like box set. As far as I know, I don't think there has been. Yeah. Here it is. King Kong vs. Godzilla, the original film. Uh, definitely can't wait to see, uh, the new one. Uh, I noticed, uh, trailers and stuff have been coming out for it, so, yeah. Definitely can't wait to check that out. Here is, uh, Mothra. Alright. And the transfers. Um, now, this is just the Showa era. Uh, but for what they did uh, with these films, it's very, very good. Uh, you do have some shots, uh, some scenes in each movie. Uh, you know, some of the transfers look much better than others, which I think comes with the territory, especially with dealing with old, older movies. But uh, I do remember seeing articles that apparently they were restricted a lot, Criterion was, uh, with what they can do with the films as far as like the transfers go because I hear that there's 
there's a Japanese release that, um, like, I think they got more, like, a full 4K restoration, and I don't think that really happened with these ones. So, it's, yeah, it's kind of odd. Uh, but every now and then you might hear about stuff like that and with different releases. So, yeah, I just thought that was kind of weird if that's true. But, yeah, there was a lot of stuff on it, a lot of news and articles about it. So, yeah, fortunately, I think it's true. All right. Okay. Ah, oh, here's a good one. Destroy All Monsters. This is when, uh, and, uh, um, is it Manila? <laughs> Masato Godzilla. You have uh, Baragon, uh, Gorosaurus, Rodan, uh, Varen, who has his own movie, uh, Manda, Kumanga, there's Humothra in the Larva stage, and Greris, and Greris? Yeah. And they literally beat the crap out of King Ghidorah. It is, <laughs> it's like, how is Ghidorah supposed to win this? <laughs> And the artwork in here is very, very good. I did hear that, uh, I saw a video about it where I think someone was selling, like, these Blu-ray cases that, uh, fit all the movies. I think it was, like, on eBay or something. Yeah, I don't, I think that was a long time ago, though. Or, yeah. But, yeah, I think you can buy, like, separate cases. Like, off of Amazon and stuff if you want to put them in, you know, a more basic Blu-ray case. Alright, this is uh, Godzilla vs. Gigan. Love the design of Gigan. Has like the red visor, like the giant, kind of like uh, bladed arms, spikes. It's almost like a robot, like a cyborg. <laughs> uh, here's a good one Godzilla vs. Megalon. There you see Jet Jaguar. About to kick the crap out of Megalon. <laughs> that was a cool one. Jet Jaguar's theme in that. His theme music is awesome. Really cool. And here's a big one. Uh, another reason to probably get this. Uh, one of these movies. Uh, is Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. Because this is long out of print. I think a bunch of these are. Uh, this I think was only released on DVD. I think out here in the States. I don't think it ever got a Blu-ray release. Until this one. Yeah because you can always find the. Um, the second one. Which is this. Terror of Mechagodzilla, which is the, the second round, pretty much. So, yeah, it's kind of uh, another reason why you want to get this, because I think some of them are, you know, out of print. You might find them secondhand a lot, a lot of these uh, older films. Yeah, because I find them all the time. You also get About the Transfers, which is something Criterion does quite a bit. Very nice. And there you see the back of them. Okay, so the discs are housed in these sleeves. Each of them are numbered. There are eight of them, so I already took them out. So it's the same picture from the beginning, so, okay. So let's lay that down. So here is uh, disc one. And then that just goes to the slot, just like that. Here is two. Now some of them, so the first one just had the original film. This one has uh, two of them. Okay. There goes that one. Here is three. Yeah, and this one has uh, three of them. And then you just, uh, you know, just match the numbers and stuff. So yeah, overall, this set is, um, it's very nice. Very well made. Uh, as far as, like, you know, like, the pictures and stuff go. Now, the sleeves. So here is, uh, this one, this four, has another four movies. So, what I've noticed is that some of these discs, I think, like, one of them is starting to sink. And I think it's this one, like, yeah, right there. How it starts to sink through. Uh, I have heard of other people having that eventually. The others seem to hold up fine. So I think if you are going to try and get this, just be aware. Um, I think this is still in print. Because um, I've seen this like at... Um, I got mine at uh, Barnes & Noble. 
uh, when they were having their Criterion sale, which is awesome. Love it when they do that. Get a lot of really nice stuff uh, by by uh, uh, by them. All right, here is disc seven. And yeah, the rain finally cleared up, so we got some great lighting. So this one might be kind of a long one, <laughs> uh, just because I wanted to show, uh, you know, everything all together. And then this one has supplements, so this has other extras and stuff. So, all right. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like with all the disc in there. And let me see if it sinks. Nope. Or a little bit. Okay. So I think maybe what it is eventually, maybe the glue and stuff that they have that keeps it together maybe eventually wears off or something. Alright, so that does it for the Criterion set for the Godzilla Showa era. Um, really, really cool. Uh, I'm wondering if there's going to be one for, like, say, the Heisei era. I think there's, like, isn't there, like, a Millennium era, too? I think there's, like, three of them. So, uh, yeah, very nice set. As far as I know, it's still in print. Yeah. But do be careful. It might be way higher at other places, depending on where you look. Okay, so that does it for uh, Godzilla. Uh, you know, real nice set, uh, set of movies. And then, we have, a, well, I'm going to show this set first. We have Gamera. This is the triple feature uh, collection, which has three movies from the Heisei era. So you have Guardian of the Universe, Attack of Legion, and Revenge of Iris. This is, like, part of the newer series of movies. There was a box set where I think you get, um... It's the first two films, I think on one disc, and then there was a separate case for the latter, or not the latter, the, uh, the last one, yeah, or vice versa. Now, this set is released by Mill Creek. So if you find this with a uh, with two cases in like an art box, that's a Mill Creek release. So limited edition box that includes all three films, all, all uh, beautifully remastered and stunning high definition. Uh, region is A. Uh, language is only... Uh, oh, wait, no, no. So you have Japanese, DTS 5.1, Dolby Digital 5.1. English dub is uh, 5.1, uh, Dolby. And then subtitles are English and region is A. Yeah. You see the Mill Creek uh, symbol. Love Mill Creek. They're also one of those that's releasing a lot of uh, older stuff. And then... Here are some of the special features. It's got like a bright red, so it might be kind of hard to see. So you do get quite a bit. The menus for this was kind of weird, <laughs> especially for this one. Uh, the, or how to find everything. It was mostly for uh, this one that has two films. Yeah, so I think that box that has these two on one case and then this one by itself. And as far as the uh, how it looks, the Mill Creek version um, looks fine. I have heard of that were that there were um or excuse me I have heard that there were uh you know some issues with it and stuff uh I think I did see some stuff uh maybe some of the coloring and maybe some of the language but uh no overall uh looks fine so you might find this by itself or the box set I think they're still in print I found these separately used uh quite a few times all right and then Arrow announced a new set of releases for Gamera, which includes all of the movies. So we have the Showa era and the Heisei era put together, and this is what the box sets look like. That is cool. Look at that. Look at Gamera, like his older classic look and his newer one. There are all the uh, monsters that he fights in the back. And here are all the cases. So we'll take all of them out, and then here's the back, and it tells you about all the uh, special edition uh, contents, and all those little paragraphs under the titles, those are all the extras. And Arrow, like Criterion, uh, I think for the most part, they have a lot of extras. So let's take out the Showa era. Um, okay. Oh, and then on the spine... 
also has the movies and on the top and bottom there is nothing okay so here is Gamera the giant monster this is the original uh, black and white uh, film and here is the details on the uh, transfer extras and stuff like that so this does have an English dub so some of them do I, th I think all of them do yeah now I think about it yeah or some I think are Japanese only so here is giant monster and then of course you get a reversible cover which I think I'm gonna switch all of them to these that look at that that's cool all right and Gamera, uh, we originally had a VHS tape for one of the movies. It was um, when he fought, who was it? Uh, Gauss. Or it's G, what is it? G Y A O S? Yeah. And, you know, I didn't know who Gamera was. Yeah, this one, this guy. And then, yeah, Barugon, not to be confused with uh, Baragon <laughs> from the Godzilla films. Yeah, so that's the original only movie that we had, along with another one. It was, uh, he fights this one that has, like, a giant, like, blade for a head. <laughs> and it's when they're, like, on another planet, so I'll get to that. There's the disc. And artwork on here is just beautiful. Arrow comes out with some very nice sets. Look at that. There's the Barugon with his rainbow. He also has a tongue that freezes things and he punches buildings with it. <laughs> Barugon's awesome. Yeah, he has a rainbow beam that destroys stuff. That, he, he is cool. Alright, oh here it is, uh, Gurin. I think it is, yeah. There's Virus. I think that's how you say that. It's back of it. And it even says uh, not to be sold separately. So yeah, I'm not sure if you can get these, you know, by themselves. So according to this, you can't. So, because if you look on um, places like, say, uh, like Blu-ray.com, it might show, like, pictures for each film. But I think that's just how they display it. When it shows, like, okay, that's what comes in that box set. And Gamera, uh really like this this uh giant monster i think he's really cool you know giant turtle that uh you know he has like saber saber tooth tiger type teeth uh on the sides of his mouth he also uh you know breathes fire and he can fly also like there he is like his he can pretty much uh put himself in his tail so this has three of them or like uh, do what a turtle does like when they cover up you know for defenses and he just starts flying <laughs> but he spins so it's like a spinning blade and it's really cool now the transfers on these um very very hit or miss uh what I noticed is that especially with the older films uh the Heisei era probably looks the best uh, out of the older ones, I would say, uh, the one where he's fighting, uh, uh, Barugan, it's probably one of the best ones out of the older films. Uh, I think that could be maybe just, uh, you know, dealing with how old the transfers are, uh, you know, could be that. Here's the, uh, so that was the Showa era. Here's the Heisei. And then here's the top. And let's take these out. So, yeah, um, because even if you look at, like, articles and stuff for these, like, reviews and stuff, yeah, some of them have more issues than others. Uh, but then also, they also have good things. So, yeah, it kind of varies with each movie. Uh, but overall, I'm just happy to finally have all of these. Now, there was another release. Which I think coincided with the Godzilla one. I think that I can't remember if this was Arrow. Or if that was Arrow or Criterion. I think it was Arrow. It was another giant book. But it actually had three of them. And they were housed in a uh, art box. So you had one that had the movies. And I think it had all of them. 
uh, all at Heisei and Showa. And you had two other like art books with other interviews, pictures, and stuff. And I think that one sold out very, very quickly. And that one I think was way higher than the uh, Godzilla one. So, because it's literally three books. <laughs> so, I think they're about the same size. Uh, but uh, yeah. So, if you're trying to look for that one, um, even if you find it, you know, be careful of pricing. Because it, it probably goes for like collector's prices now. Now, these ones uh, just got released. So, as far as I could tell, they're still available. I got these off of um, Amazon and they arrived uh, pretty quickly. Just like, looked like three days. So, yeah, and I choose the basic shipping. So, <laughs> really cool. Yeah, so now we're into the more newer uh, films, and he has, like, a newer design. He actually looks really good. He put, like, you know, spikes on his head, so he has, like, a mohawk. Like, they stand out more. His shell's got, like, more of, like, a sharper kind of look. And out of all these, you know, who's your favorite villain? Uh, do you like Iris? Uh, you know, Gals? Uh, Virus, uh, Jigen. Um, also, uh, you know, Garen. Uh, his villains are pretty interesting. You know, Zegra. <laughs> yeah, they have, uh, uh, you know, pretty cool names and stuff. Oh, did I show all that? Yeah. And Yamra, you know, of course, one of the things was, uh, you know, is he, is him and Godzilla ever going to fight or team up? And, you know, there hasn't been anything on that. And, uh, yeah, but I think they're done by the same company. I think it's Toho. Yeah. So here's the final one, uh, Gamera the Brave. And, yeah, to my knowledge, I think this is the final one that came out. Uh, it's been out for quite a while. And yeah, I remember this being like a reboot because it's like he's just, I think, like being born in this one. Like he has like a newer, yeah, like, or not newer body, but I think it's just, yeah, like they were trying to start over. Yeah. That disc looks cool. All right. Yeah, I think that's one of the uh, posters because, yeah, he's literally like a baby turtle, then he grows. All right, so that does it for our Gamera, Arrow, and the Godzilla Criterion uh, collection set. Oh, and the Gamera uh, Mill Creek uh, set as well. And uh, really, really cool boxes. I'm going to show this again for you guys. So, yeah, these are available right now uh, from Arrow. So, you know, if you want to pick these up, uh, I would say, you know, go ahead and do it because <laughs> they might start to go out of print, which tends to happen, uh, especially with Arrow and Criterion sets after a while. Okay. All right. So now, see if I can get these to line up. All right. There we are. There's that one. Okay. So I got to get up for this one. <laughs> okay. Put that right there. And then we'll put this right on top. Okay. Now let's pull the tripod up. And there we are, guys. All look really good together. Uh, you know, two very big, you know, famous giant monsters, and they're awesome. Uh, you know, both Godzilla and Gamera. Uh, this is really, really cool. The Criterion set is very nice it's just you know you got to find a place to display it and stuff uh you know I, I would display it standing up that's exactly what i do <laughs> uh just to help protect the distance so i might get a separate blu-ray case just to get them out of there and just put them in like a regular box um the uh mill creek gamera trilogy uh is pretty cool you know nice little slim box set you might find that used a bunch of times or uh if you find a new you know it's pretty nice and then the new Arrow box sets are just amazing. I mean, just look at that artwork. That's just, that's just really, really cool. Them and Criterion are awesome. 
Uh, Mill Creek set is nice, you know, simple. And uh, yeah, the transfers, you know, they could be very hit and miss on some of them. You know, it could, could be they were restricted on what what they could do, maybe due to the transfers or other issues. But uh, I think for the most part, you know, colors are nice. Music is good. Uh, both series of movies all have really good music. Uh, the dialogue is nice and clear, both Japanese and English. Uh, you do get kind of different tracks for each film. And uh, the extras are very, very good. Definitely go through the extras. I'm currently doing that with the Gamera films. Awesome, really cool stuff. Uh, and the suit designs. Very, very good. You know, you get to see Godzilla from where he started in the beginning. Uh, you know, and then his suit starts to kind of change a bit. Uh, Gamera, same thing, going from the Showa to the Heisei. You know, he just gets more cooler looking. And, uh, yeah, very, very good. So in the uh, comment section below, feel free to let me know. Have you guys seen any of these films? Uh, are you looking to get any of these sets? Also, uh, which one is your favorite and do you think... These two will either, will, will either, either, or no, either, <laughs> will either fight each other or possibly team up in a film. Whether it's in, you know, an American, uh, let's say Legendary gets the rights to camera, you know, will they do that? Or maybe in a Japanese film, possibly. Feel free to let me know. I would love to see that. And, uh, yeah, with that, I'll see you guys next time.